All right, guys, last week I showed you uh, a little preview of this golf cart. Uh, so what I did so far, I cut these brackets off of the uh, existing seat. It's just sitting there roughly right now. It's not in the center or anything being held on by that yellow strap. Just trying to figure out what I need. Uh, went out back, picked up some uh, scrap stuff that I had back there. Piece of channel and a piece of angle. So cut a piece of channel. 15 inches. Uh, I have 16 inches inside here. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, centering this out and making sure that this is straight up and down and that'll give me a plate to mount from. So we'll center that out, weld that just on the top because all the pressure is going to be downward. And uh, from there, uh, we're going to take this angle. I have a piece cut here. It's three inches wide. We're going to cut that and basically make two tabs, one that sticks out here, one that sticks out here. Uh, drill a hole in those tabs, and then we're gonna weld some kind of a bracket onto the seat itself, very similar to what was on there. And then we'll attach the seat to that bracket, and we will cut this panel to accommodate those two tabs that are gonna stick out there. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to throw this thing on a uh, tripod and throw it on time lapse and uh, let you guys see how bad redneck manufacturing really is because we'll be walking circles and not sure what we're doing, but we'll get her done. Get her done. Alright guys, not sure if you could tell from the time lapse, but this is what we got. So we've cut those off flush with the first bolt that'll give us room for brackets to mount plywood to for a backrest. We took a piece of channel and we welded it directly to one of the main frames of the golf cart, put two tabs on it, stuck it through, and as you will see, cut two holes. They're not perfect, but they're real close. Uh, those two tabs stick out of those two holes and then we'll come over here. This is in the paint booth right now. Got to get it cleaned up a little bit. And so those two tabs that stick out, those two tabs there get bolted to it. That little tab down there on the bottom is going to get bolted in on the floor, which is going to hold it from lifting. And then uh, this will close up, make it a seat or open it up and make it a cargo carrier. So this thing's going to get some paint, and uh, once we get it painted up tomorrow, we'll go ahead and show you how it goes on the golf cart, as well as uh, what it's going to look like without pads. I'm going to make adapters, but not going to do the pads. The owner is going to do pads. All right, guys, don't hate me for my studio technique. I'm going to use this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a little push button light. So, uh, redneck style, you know, you can't record everything. We don't even document very well, but uh, we got this thing all put back together. Like I say, I'm not going to do the pads. The, uh, the owner is going to, they're going to do the pads. I do have to make a bracket up here, um, something that he can screw plywood to, to make a backer. Um, so that is something that I have to do yet, and I'll just loosen this nut up, stick something in there with a hole, and lock it in there. Uh, but uh, here's what we got. This thing uh, is folded up like a seat and uh, of course I can't take credit on any of this. That was factory made. Turns into a little truck body. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I mounted this thing. Uh, so you've seen we took this panel off and I welded that piece of channel in there. Here goes my mega million dollar red epic. Um, so there is the brackets that stick out. And then I also put a bracket right down in there to hold it from lifting up as well as being pulled down. Uh, I thought it turned out pretty damn good. And uh, Redneck Manufacturing pulls through again. I understand that uh, in order to do this, you had to buy a seat kit. Uh-oh. Um, you had to buy a seat kit, a roof kit, 
and I believe it was in the uh, amount of $2,500 to uh, mount this seat on this golf cart at a golf cart repair center. So uh, I don't have a seat, like a bench seat on here yet, and I did put that on there so I didn't scuff my paint up. But yeah, nice and solid, if I don't fall off. And uh, there it is. Man, we're home, take me for a ride. Uh, it is gonna be a little tight on the backrest because that thing is, let me get the camera facing right, that thing is right there. So if I sit back, my back is against that, so you're gonna lose about three inches or whatever the thickness of your pad is on that backer. So uh, Redneck Manufacturing, we finally did something in the garage other than uh, stupid talking videos, and I won't turn this into a stupid talking video. Guys, thanks for subscribing. Uh, we're still up to 833 subscribers. When I get to 1,000 subscribers, we are going to give a, an action camera away. So uh, be sure to tell your friends, tell your family. You've seen it right here on Redneck Manufacturing. Have them subscribe as well, and that will get your chance of winning that action camera here a little faster. Thanks for watching.